is a two-time Tony Award winner. She has uh, sparkled in such stage productions as Annie and the recent... Are you listening to me? Oh, you're looking the other way. Recent uh, Ballroom uh, on Broadway. Wonderful. But now she's returned to television. She's got her own series on CBS called Dorothy, which uh, appears on Wednesday nights. It's a pleasure to have her back on this show. Dorothy Loudon. Dorothy! <laughs> You know, Shazam? Dorothy Lund. Thank you. I am you, oh, I've been watching you. In the green, you look so beautiful. Thank you. Oh, oh thank It's you. a shame she couldn't find anything to wear around her neck. Yeah, isn't that a shame? <laughs> and notice how the two hands went up to it. Do that again, will you? I don't know if it's still oh, on. Oh, look at that one there and those two. I can't tell you, really. I'm just sweet. You can't, huh? No. <laughs> it's very depressing to is sit it? here. Yes. Oh, but you look wonderful. My underwear is torn. I want you to know is that. You? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Not I, at all. I don't want any. But if, he, if, you're, if did your mother ever say if you get hit by a bus, make sure your underwear Always. is good for the hospital, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. Where are you I'm from? Speaking of uh, families and stuff. Boston. No. I love Boston. Are you from Boston? Not oh, quite sure. a standing ovation, isn't that funny? Well, I mean. Outside of Boston or no, in Boston? Boston. Uh, right on, right on uh, Commonwealth Avenue. <sighs> right in it. Right, oh, right that, in Boston. I mean, that's. The original yeah. America, isn't it up there? My grandmother was the president of the Women's Christian Temperance Union in Boston. <laughs> Wouldn't she have been shocked to see her granddaughter well, on the big stage mm -hmm. in the wicked city? Or, huh? or drink. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was she really president yeah. of Temperance? She used to walk around with a sign. You know, they paraded a great deal. Oh, yeah. And they used to bust up bars. They used bars. to say things like, down with king alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nobody read them. Mm. Or paid any attention. Do you ever go back up and take bows? Oh, sure. Huh? Well, we don't live in Boston anymore. We uh, we moved to New Hampshire, and I go there. Oh, that's a pretty city. Oh, it's a darling. Yeah, what city in New Hampshire? It's a tiny town. It's called Claremont, New Hampshire. I don't know that one. Have you ever no. been to New Hampshire? Yes, I played there. Did about you? Three years ago. Where? Life Spirit. In the, what's the name of that? Um, that's Gil a chain. A Gil chain. Gilford and Oh, no. the um, um, Mm. Around Lake Winnipesaukee and all those. Places. Winnipesaukee? No, that's, that's yeah. A, no, it's, yeah. it's a See, we don't have it's names Indian. like that out here. <laughs> Terrible names. And this time of year when everybody sends their kids to camp in no. New York. See, that's not a custom out here at all. No. I remember that big day in New York around Grand Central Station. Millions of kids, all the New Yorkers said, send your kid to Lake Winnipesaukee, haka -laka. Yeah. And they go up, they 10,000 bucks, they make an ashtray for the I summer, know. right? Yeah. Yeah. I did that. I was and they come back with bites all over their bodies. I was a and... counselor at a camp up there called Camp Sawangataha. See that? Camp yeah. Sawangataha. Yeah. And I made an ashtray. Did you? <laughs> and I used it. <laughs> uh, it was called, uh, oh, Sawangataha means strong heart in Indian. I thought mm. I'd just throw that in. Do they know of all your success up in Claremont, New Hampshire? Well, I didn't have any success in Claremont. No, it but I mean, really they know all I your Broadway to... stuff? Oh, they do now. Sure. What do they ask As a matter you when you fact, come back? Well, they, first of all, they look at the roots. You know. Oh, do they? Yeah. <laughs> and when I first went home, um, when I first used to go home and I'd been in show business, they all wanted to, you know, they look and see if you're pregnant. That's the first thing. Right. Yeah. Because <laughs> they can't figure out why you'd be coming back home if you weren't. <laughs> 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 but uh, they're very supportive, actually. They wanted, and I haven't had the time, but they want to name a street after me, and uh, that's very sweet, you know. And they wanted to have a Dorothy the full name. and a parade and everything. And I love that. I think that's really sweet. It's mm. very sweet Wonderful. indeed. And, and uh, I'll go up there one day when I get a chance. Mm. Yeah. Broadway was great fun. I'm sorry, ballroom closed. Yeah, I, I was. It sorry. got fairly. I mean, that got really good reviews, didn't it? Got it got very good reviews, yeah. People just didn't come. I mean, it was, we just didn't do any business. It was a sad musical, wasn't it? No. Was it a joyous? See, it had... It, it was wasn't a sad, but people first. thought that it was because they thought it was based on the television show yeah, where and the woman died, died at the end. end. Yeah. And but all those very in, in the show, old she didn't people... Die. But they weren't old. You see, it was a show about hope, really. It wasn't a show about age. And, and kids that came loved the show because it had a great... It was about survival. See, the teleplay had a loneliness to it, yeah. where older people, I mean, didn't have anything left except going to this ballroom to meet 
to dance yeah, the yeah. rest of their lives away. Yeah, but it, the, the play, the show, the musical wasn't like that. But I think so many people thought it would be. And they, you know, that you don't want to pay all that money to go and be depressed. Yeah. So I think that's probably one of the many reasons why people didn't come. Mm -hmm. But it was mm -hmm. nice. I miss it. Are those closing sad? I mean. Yeah, well, it's always sad when you close in a show. But we had a wonderful closing. We had a party. And uh, we had a terrific time. But then the cast must have all been in love with each other. They were. It was a total uh, love in. It's the greatest company I've ever worked with. But by Annie. Well, Annie was marvelous, oh, too. Oh, what a show. But of course, I mean, there were a lot of little kids in that one. Did you have fun with them? Or? Yeah, I did. Did you? Yeah, I really did. They were very, very cute May I little ask girls. One question. Sure. sure. Darling, that Sweeney Todd, I saw that and I walked out on it. I haven't seen it. Walked out on Sweeney Todd? It. it is the most depressing because you talked about it. The most. I mean, everything what you don't like, the killing, the, the, the murdering, cutting the throat, seeing the blood falling. Of course, Anne, I mean, uh, Angela Lansbury is so fantastic yeah. in it that you see, but she, <laughs> they decide they make, uh, do you know the story? Sure. They make out of, of the human the pies, flesh. The pies, they're bread the pie. yeah. I really didn't like it. It sounds terrible. It got every, every Tony Award on it the It won world. everything. It did. Uh, many you haven't seen it? I haven't, I haven't had time to see it because we had the same schedule and then when, Ballroom closed. I started on this. Everybody on staff, Mort Lindsay says the greatest. You there, Mort? Yeah. Was uh, that the greatest musical you ever saw? Sweeney Todd? Yep. Absolutely. See? You see, it's, com it's completely divided. No, Half of I the people hate it. I, I can't, can't imagine Stephen Sondheim writing yeah. anything bad. No, he I is can't so either. Gifted. I think he's a genius. Oh, yep. well, but you can't, you either adore that show, I think, or you loathe it, one or the other. But he's an absolute genius. Oh. I think he should be encouraged in every possible way, because if, if people like that aren't, I don't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You know. Were you a little kid performer, like those little kids? No. Oh, God, Annie? Oh, God, no. Huh? No. No, I did all the... the uh, Do they have good lives, those little kids? I don't think so. Oh. I don't think they have very much fun because they don't have any childhood, you know. But do like... they have fun working on a stage? Well, they do, but then they get bored. They're, after all, they're really kids, you know. They're not grown-ups, and they're little teeny babies, and they, they're in, in the, they're 40-year-old people, and they're in these little 5-year-old bodies. <laughs> you know, they've, yeah. got, they've got scrapbooks and clippings and... It's no fun. They, Do they, they talk really about don't have scrapbooks and oh, they, they, Yeah, it's called Can You Top This? They're backstage all the time and they're putting really? each other down. Oh, yeah. I did a Kojak and the other one goes into the bathroom and screams because she didn't do one. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very competitive. And I think that's very healthy when you're that young. It's not healthy at any age, actually. Yeah. It's too do the parents seem to encourage that? Yeah, I think the parents are responsible for it. Sure, I do. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Andrea McArdle turned out Andrea's very terrific. well. I mean, she's Andrea been on the show many times. Andrea is an exception, I think. Yeah. And I, I, actually, she's quit now. She's going back to school, and I think that's wonderful. I didn't know that. Yeah. She was just on the show in New York. Mm -hmm. And she left it, and she's going back to school in Philadelphia. And then she'll probably go ahead and work in Oh, the yeah, theater. she's too good at Yeah, but singer. she wanted to finish her, her education. Mm -hmm. you know? Tell us about Dorothy. Oh, well. I'm here, and I never really thought I would be in California. Something really uh, important had to bring me out here, because my home, I like California. Now, you're filming the show here? Yeah. We're filming it, and the second episode goes on tomorrow night. Yeah. And it's called Dorothy. It's terrific. I mean, it's, it's, re it's really... Um, now, do you sing on it and everything? I get to do everything on it. Yeah. And it's... I can't tell you. I'm very excited about it. Do you know how many nights I used to sit in the Blue Angel and just watch you sing? Yeah, I know. I saw you there. And I did so many shows with your ex-husband, Norman. I know, Norman. Oh, yeah. We yeah. did a lot of shows. Yeah, he was something. Yeah. Late husband. I should have yeah. said ex-husband. I'm yeah. sorry. But uh, he was a great pianist. Yes, and we... Where was that? In New York. Well, Norman uh, actually had a, the Norman Paris Trio, which right. was at the Rue Van Bleu. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. We did a lot of well, television. You did a lot of, you did a lot of stuff with Norman. Yeah, with Norman. In the morning, we used to do a CBS morning show. I know. Together. Oh, God. I know. We used to have to be up at 4 o'clock in the morning, and rehearsal was at 6. Yeah. And we had to sing, and Norman would play the piano. We'd all moan. We'd go, oh. And we did the show from Grand Central Station. I know. And you could hear the trains going on. I remember oh. one time Norman told me that he overslept. Mm. And they came, and he went out in his bathrobe. And they whisked him off to the thing, and he played behind a screen. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Uh, the, first, <laughs> the first day Dick Van Dyke came on the show, that was the same show, uh, he overslept for, out of nervousness yeah. and never showed up. 
Oh. And I had to do the show. <laughs> and one morning, we used to get so crazy from having to rehearse at five in the morning. You had no life at all, right? And we were in there singing songs and looking happy because the show went on at seven, from seven yeah. to ten. And there used to be this guy, and he used to come in and read the weather report for all over America. And I used to get crazy from listening to him. And I used to think, someday I'm going to do something to you. <laughs> and one morning, we were all at the table, and in he came. And they said, here's George and the weather. And George went, and in South Dakota, there's going to be a cold front moving in. And I don't know what made me do it, but I took a match. And I lit the bottom of his report down here. And suddenly he went, whoosh! On camera, and he said, who did it? And he screamed and ran off. And all the people looked at me like, you've got to be crazy. Why'd you do that? But I then he didn't that. come to the table anymore and sit I down. <laughs> we'll come back. Dorothy Lowndes going to sing for us. <laughs> oh, tell that to the audience. That's really delightful. Oh, Dorothy that... is saying that the, when she moved out from New York after all this great success on the Broadway stage, she just went totally Hollywood. Well, see, I went, I went ape. I always swore I was never going to come to California. And, uh, I was just going to stay in the theater. Yeah. You know, I was going to do all that grand stuff, you know. And so uh -huh. all of a sudden I got out here and I'm doing uh, uh, this wonderful series. And I'm really excited about it. It's Dorothy and it's on CBS. And yeah. it's terrific. Tomorrow. It's tomorrow night. It sounds great. It is, time it is tomorrow night. It's 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Yes. We'll so we can't it. offend anybody. <laughs> um, and I got, the minute I got out of here, I was telling Merv, I got in the hotel. I didn't even unpack. I ran down to the drugstore and I bought the Hollywood Reporter and the Daily Variety. <laughs> and I was looking for my name. Right. <laughs> just like everybody else, you know, I went completely Hollywood in two seconds. I just, and I got up. Have you dreamed of swimming name. pools and barbecue pits? Oh, yes, everything. Huh? Sunburns, swimming pools, tennis courts, the works. You want the whole want, thing. I want all that. Get it. I'm get gonna, it. I'm going to get it. Get it. Wait till you hear it. Uh, no, I gotta tell you, oh, I really, on. I must say, I was. I know you don't have an arrangement, anything, yeah. but Mort has put together. Well, I'll tell you what Mort did, Please. the guys, and it's really something because I came, I didn't know I was going to do the show. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I mean, this I threw this. I, I really little it. schmata, what are they call it? Smock. Look, it's got spots all over it. I can't it tell you. But you had a great dinner. I'm I very. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Look at that gravy right there. But I came and I didn't have any music, and I called Mort and. Because it's really tacky to show up on a show with a terrific bunch of guys like that and not have any music. And I was very tacky. It's never bothered them. Well, they were great. And so we had a couple of minutes together today, and they really sound... God, I wish they'd go on the road. I'd go back into the business. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Jack, that's your they first sound. offer in years. No, they really... They sound... <laughs> sound so good. Disco. Not yeah, somebody called uh, the fellow who wrote the music, the lyrics, and the music for, with his wife for your show, The Bergmans. Alan, Bergman. Alan and Marilyn. Marilyn. Alan called me yesterday. He said, "Merv, you got to hear this. There's a new definition for disco. Disco is rhythm and blues for people who don't have either." <laughs> <laughs> Sing for That's us, funny. will you? Sure. Dorothy Lott. <laughs> Are you great? <laughs> I haven't sung anywhere in a long time like this. We're the first. Yeah, it's nice. Let it fall. In old Savannah, I said the best. The weather there, nice and warm. Climate of a southern brand. There's just one thing I don't understand. They got a gal there. A pretty gal there who, who, who's colder than an Arctic storm. She's got a heart just like a stone. Well, even ice men weaver, I gotta get up alone. They call her heart, heart of the hand, let's hear it. Pampers the best. Polar bears pajamas to tease them and kill them to torture them and thrill them with her delight they play. Well, that evening is spent with Hannah sitting on your knee. It's like going to Alaska in your BBC. They call her hard. Oh, God, I'm too good for this show. <laughs> 
Thank you. 